Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today is March 9th. So today we'll talk about how the policies from Donald Trump is going to affect the Forex market so that we can make some trades that we can benefit from the uh, agreement that he has just signed. So before this agreement started, we understand that one of one, two, or one day or two uh, before the agreement is signed, he has once complained about how uh, China is trading uh, unfairly so that he has signed this trade war, the agreement. So making that the steel and aluminum trading into the United States will have uh, 10 or 15 percent higher tax that uh, the other countries have to pay, right? So uh, we uh, we've understand the agreement has signed, <clears throat> but it's not as strong as we thought so that uh, the stock market has been picking up again and the US dollar is going up again. Uh, mainly it's because he's not making this agreement to the uh, Mexico and also the uh, agreement to Canada because he said he has to wait for how they behave from the North American trade agreement, right? So some uh, this sort of he's making uh, self-making some deals that trying to push other trying to push something more from other countries so um be, but after one month he may consider how they behave then he may continue the agreement the uh uh the exemption from china uh, the canada and mexico something that he's going to uh the the make for the uh, trading so now we have to understand that i've talked about how he doesn't have the uh, power to negotiate in this area because he's the only one making the uh, trade unfair because we see the uh, after ever after the uh, president uh, he's elected to be a president the US dollar has been dropping stumble from more than 100 and to now around 90 uh, uh, 90 points for the US index so the only country, only single country that benefits from the trade is United States. We can look at this chart. So this is the trading uh, imports from the Eurozone. Okay. So whenever the, it's meaning that, we, for example, Germany is the first, meaning that Un, uh, European Union is trading, giving up money to Germany is the, uh, is the highest one. And it's uh, in the United States is at the fifth. So that, you, the EU is buying lots of stuff from the United States, right? So because of that, you and also the US dollar is going uh, is going weaker and weaker. It's depreciating a lot uh, for the past year. And then we understand that he has uh, the U EU has all the power it has to control the United United States from the trading balance. So looking at the top five, we can see Germany is EU, right? That the Nancy the EU, France number four is EU, and what about China? Right, China is nothing because he's not. They're not doing anything because they have special deals, they have private deals. They are not doing anything for China, but for the United States, Donald Trump saying something like that. EU is saying that if you're doing something like that, I will do some the similar things to the United States. So that is exactly why in the beginning of this week, the stock market has stumbled for a little bit. So right now, if this is only a hoax or any uh, just any games for Donald Trump to buy time or plan for something bigger for the United States, it may not work. That is exactly what I'm talking about. So in the future, not only that it may not work, it will harm the United States economy. It may also affect the uh, US dollar. So if that is going to fail, US dollar will going to go strong again. And also because of that, because of something will happen in March and April, for example, Brexit or some agreements going on or it, uh, the uh, the election in the Italy, we can look at the uh, fundamentally pounds and uh, euro is going to be weaker, right? So technically for and also, if the US dollar is going to raise, uh, is going to go up, and also FOMC meeting is coming up, right? We can check the uh, the interest rate probability. We can look at the FOMC meeting will be on March twenty first. Uh, it's hundred percent of the market is thinking that they will going to raise interest rate for at least zero point five twenty five basis point. Uh, Forty percent of the market of, uh, is thinking that they will raise the interest rate for fifty. 50, uh, 50 basis point. So with that being said, the uh, US dollar is going to appreciate more than it will depreciate. So that uh, if you're going to have short position of the Euro to US dollar, it's going to be a, a better choice. So right now, I think the better chance for you to kick into th this market is when it has dropped below this neckline, which is around 
1.212 okay if that's the case the target will be here around 1.17 you have short position or you can take a chance because the candlestick pattern is pretty bad you can try to short the uh, euro to us dollar and from now the target should be hitting the black line the black line is 1.212 right that's your first target whenever it drops more you can hold your soft short position or you can add more and then it hits the target of 1.174 around this level so if you're going to make a have a uh, open a short short position at this level when it, uh, whenever it hits again hitting 1.24 1.25 you should uh, close your position another country uh, in the currency you can look for is pound to usd because of the uh, brexit phase two is going to negotiate uh, from mid-march to uh, april you can kind of uh, have having a bearish pattern uh, you can see on the pounds to usd so again you can make the short position from now and then the ta first target is, is the bottom line of the yellow channel which is around 1.355 and when it, or you can wait for 1.355 to break below that and then you can open the short position and the target should be 1.322 whenever it goes up be above the top uh, uh the top of the channel which is around 1.395 you can you should close the position that means that what i'm guessing is wrong maybe the united states is uh, us dollar is going down or maybe the everyone's meeting they're announcing they're not going to raise it, the interest rate that is pretty uh devastating and pretty unbelievable so maybe at that time you can change the position too have open long position of the pounds, long position for the euro, or you can have short position of the US dollar basket. That's something I can I, uh, I can brief you guys. You can take a reference off. So that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me comments. Or uh, if you have don't you have don't have any questions, you still have to give me likes, uh, thumbs up, share, and comments. Right. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.